Hey guys, Angel Death TV here casting the World Championships from 2015. This is the round of 16 Group B. I'm casting over it because there wasn't an English cast of the uh, of the tournament itself. We're on Group B. This is the first match of Group B. There are two groups per ma or two matches per group. There are four groups total. This match is against the Blade Dancer Hugh Kwan against the uh, the Wild Card Tournament winner who got seeded into this only because he won the Wild Card Tournament. The uh, Korean Warlock Shin Kyu. Yeah, Shin Kyu Kim. Latest goes for an air combo immediately ravaged by the uh, by the warlock. Warlock pops his uh, his knockdown immunity and leeches from the from the blade dancer, which means he has the ability to use a raging demon. Knowing this, the uh, the blade dancer takes a takes some distance as the wraith comes up from the warlock. Blade dancer tries to find a good opening to go in. He uses invulnerability frames. Looks like they're already all burnt through. Warlock pulls his pet to him to try to mess with the targeting. Big damage coming out onto the Blade Dancer. Blade Dancer tries to close the gap, but he can't seem to make it. Warlock pulls his pet to him from across the map. Blade Dancer gets a knockdown. He gets a huge bit of damage from his uh, lightning draw. But as the Warlock's dealing damage here, he's healing a good bit back. Wraith is down for the Warlock. He's a little exposed now. He's already used his uh, positional swap with the with the the Wraith. He can only escape from light CC now or soft CC now. He gets knocked down, going for a combo from the Blade Dancer. Pops his knockdown and groggy immunity, and the Blade or Blade Dancer knock backs off again. Blade Dancer goes with a five point strike, catches him out, gets the air combo. Has lightning drop for the landing, but the warlock summon pulls his pet to him and knocks the blade dancer back to deny it. Cooldown reset coming in from the warlock. Big damage possibly coming out here. Blade dancer looks like he's trying to avoid it by going around the uh, wraith. Only able to reduce it, it looks like. He isn't able to avoid all of it. He's spinning to avoid CC, but it's not saving him from the damage. Pulls the pet to him. Extra damage from that. Wraith, wraith goes away. Phantom grip onto the warlock from the blade dancer. Looks like the Warlock got out of the grip. Leeches, so he can cast a Raging Demon. He does the half. He does the half read. The half dragon. Knockdown. Or groggy from Groggy from the Warlock. Half dragon for the kill. Shin Kim Kim takes the the first set in this best of five. Didn't really look like the warlock or the uh, blade dancer was ever to ever able to close the distance to really do too much damage, which is something we saw in the the group A match two with the uh, blade dancer versus the force master. When he was able to close the distance, he did quite well, and it was quite a nice game to watch. And it's obviously where he did the best, and when he took a two 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 uh, tie with Jason in group A. The games he won was when he was able to be really aggressive. Similarly here, we saw that the the ranged class, this time being the Warlock, was able to keep their range, keep putting out damage and pressure, and the Blade Dancer, without being able to close the gap, wasn't really able to, to keep up pressure and eventually, eventually ran out of steam and died. Looks like he actually didn't ever get the... Uh, the Warlock's two escape from soft CC. He did, however, burn the the uh, positional swap between the Warlock and the Wraith, which gets him out of hard CC. Soft CC is referred to as knockdowns and dazes. Hard CC would be a stun or a daze when there is no roll available, because for dazes, you can roll out of them with your F roll escape. If you don't have that, then a daze is almost as good as a stun and then becomes hard CC. Going into set two here was a uh, not exactly the quickest victory we've seen out of our warlock player. He won a few games in the wild card within mere moments. We're gonna see if he can do it again here. Set two. How's this opener gonna go off? The blade star goes for the flight. Gets knocked down in the air by the. Uh, by the X ability of the Warlock. Warlock summons his Wraith. Blade Inter still keeping his distance. He looks like he's going in. Gets rooted. Leech comes out. 
Goes for the five point strike, but it's immune. It's blocked by the Warlock. Warlock pops his knockdown and groggy immunity and his resets. Big damage could possibly be coming out here. Looks like he, he's still expecting those half dragons. Spams two of them right there. Three of them, four of them, five. Five half dragons take out almost all of the blade into HP. Blade to gets some damage returned from lightning drop, but the warlock wasn't knocked down, so it wasn't an instant crit. Half dragon for the finisher is the warlock completely decimates the blade dancer there. That was more of like what we saw from uh, Sin Kyum Kim in in the wild card tournament, just dominating fashion, taking out everybody in, in his path. He uh he cut through the wild card tournament pretty easily to make it here, so I don't think he's gonna definitely not gonna stop now that he's only in the round of 16. Can this blade dancer really put up any of fight? I mean, like he the first round the first set he was kept at a range and wasn't able to do anything. This set here he was just completely blown up. He was rooted there as all the resets went out, and then just tons of half dragons with all the stored up demon orbs. He did the. He got his lightning drop there, but like I said, there was no knockdown, so it wasn't a guaranteed crit. Still got some damage off, but wasn't wasn't very much at all. And because the uh, the race was between him and the warlock, he didn't get any blade draws off either. There's that guy with the broken phone again. I feel like that phone, poor phone has been abused. We need to keep an eye on him. Yuki Kwan looks uh, a lot younger than I thought. I don't have ages on these players, but I just, I don't know, he looks really, really young. Maybe he's having some nerve issues? Looks like I'm getting ready to head into set 3 here. Sin Kyum Kim was a, uh, as I said, he kind of decimated his way through the, through the wild card tournament. And it looks like he's definitely poised to not stop now. I believe he's the only warlock in this tournament. I might be incorrect, but I think he's the only Warlock. Set 3, we're going to see how this opener goes up. Instead of going directly in, the Blade Dancer, Blade Dancer hesitates for a moment, gets the knockdown on his throw, but gets knocked down in the air, gets hit by a Half-Dragon. He pull, he Phantom grips the Warlock out of his uh, daze and knockdown immunity. Throws him down and goes for the Blade, or goes for the Lightning Draw. Doesn't get Blade Draw and follow-up, so the Wraith comes out from the Warlock, Half-Dragon, he goes for more half dragons here. He's not able to close the distance yet. Blade Dancer finally gets on top of the Warlock. Warlock is hiding behind his Wraith. Phantom Grip comes out from the Blade Dancer, thrown down, no air combo. He chases. He catches the uh, catches the F retreat. Goes for the air combo. Decides to do a knockdown from it instead of the extra damage. Gets rooted in place. Spins out of it. Warlock and Blade Dancer have changed positions. Warlock gets hit by the 5 point strike and knocked up into the air. Blade Dancer goes for a follow up CC. Gets a hard stun out of the uh, out of the daze. Goes for a second air combo. Lightning draw on the landing. Chases but doesn't get the uh, Blade Draw follow up for even more damage. Warlock pops his uh, daze and daze and knocked out immunity. Gets the Blade Dancer rooted at afar. It's a huge damage about to happen. He got looks like he got he only got four hits out of that. Uh, that ground ability there. If he hits all five of them, he gets a free half dragon. Knockdown coming in from the Blade Dancer. Warlock F rolls out of it. Blade Dancer tabs aggressively to continue the combo. Goes for the, he opts for the knockdown again as opposed to the extra damage. He gets rooted in place. Another uh, cooldown reset from the Warlock. Huge damage potential coming out here. Rooted in place. Five hits. He's going to get the free half dragon. There it is there. Another half dragon from the reset. They're both at uh, keeping their distance right now. Blade Dancer tries to close the distance. He does catch him with a five point strike, gets the knock up, doesn't follow up with a air combo or a knockdown. He tabs out of the knockdown Warlock sends to him. Warlock uses Gravity Vortex. The Blade Dancer Phantom grips the Warlock away, but the Warlock changes places with his uh, Wraith. Knockdown from the Blade Dancer into a lightning draw. 
doesn't get blade draws. Looks like he's uh, not doing too healthy right now. He's rooted in place on the ground. Gets hit by the imprison and completely blown up at the end there. He did better than before, but uh, still got taken out quite rapidly as uh, Sin Kyum Kim advances to the quarterfinals round of eight.